hi welcome back today's video is i feel like the intros to my videos are very samey <laughs> because all i ever do is gel polish with some crystal placement and maybe some decals or some glitter so it's kind of like just the same thing but today we're doing florally reefs and little bouquet things with a bit of bling yeah let's crack on so i've got my tips I'm only doing four today because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> I've got the Perfect White Gel Polish from Madame Glam. I'm going to be applying this to two of the four tips and then I will pop it in the lamp for a 30 second cure and then once it comes out I will then give those two nails a second coat and give it another 30 second cure so we have two coats of white on our tips then uh, these are the cherry blossom decals that i'm going to be using i know they look like they should be kept as one little design but i'm going to cut mine in half what a rebel <laughs> i'm going to cut the excess from around the decal design and then on these blue ones which i haven't used i'm going to cut off some of these like look these smaller spriggy bits here because i thought oh they'd look quite nice wrapping around the reef i'm going to take the one off the other side as well which curls around just slightly the other way and then upside down on your stamper dampen the back and then after a few seconds maybe more than a few the backing will just slide off but less than 20 seconds more than five less than 20 and then just dab off the excess water and just stamp the flowers where you want them if you were doing this on say like a darker colored nail you might have to just color in with gel polish the back of the decal and then cure the gel polish before you stamp it but because we're doing it on white it stamps out perfectly ah i'm gonna take a bit of that the blue the blue sprig and then I'm going to stamp that around the pink that we've just put on. So one sprig's going to curl up around the top. And then the other sprig of blue is going to sort of start to curl around the other side. And then I'm going to add another little... The, the pink, the cherry blossoms, I've just cut another bit off. And that's going to go on the opposite side of the other pink ones. Like that. And then I decided that I was going to add my own little flowers on as well. So I'm using the petal brush. This is Madame Glam's petal brush. And I'm just going to add some really tiny little purple flowers. Because this is, this is a tiny little reef. It's on quite a big nail. So if you're doing it on someone else's nail, it's, it's going to be quite small. This is, I think this is a size 3 tip. <laughs> So I'm just look, I'm just adding some really simple little purple flowers. I think did I just add two? Yeah, just a couple. Just to give it a little bit more colour. And then I thought I would use the brown gel paint to make some swirly twigs. So I tried to do a nice thin line and then I thought, well, I'll make it a little bit thicker because. I don't know, I just thought I'd make it a little bit thicker. So I kind of, I made a couple of little swirl, swirly bit. You could do this in green. Actually, one thing I didn't do was add any extra leaves on this. But there are some little green leaves on those cherry blossoms. So I, th I thought I'd do it in brown. But if you wanted, you could add extra leaves. Extra leafage. Anyway, once you're happy with your your little brown swirly twigs pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds then i decided from here i was going to top coat i'm using velvet matte you can use shiny if you want to i i do like the velvet matte as you well know if you are very if you're used to my channel if you've been here a while <laughs> and then i'm taking the this is the white gel paint. <clears throat> so the white, the gel paints from Madame Glam don't have a tacky layer. So I thought I'd add some daisies to the top. 
because it will just add a little bit of like texture a little bit of depth maybe i don't know that depth is the right word but definitely it'll add some texture and also these daisies will be a little bit shiny as well because the gel paint cures shiny so i thought oh, that'd be a nice little touch so i'm just gonna add i think i just do the two do i do the two i think i do might i might even do three actually and there's no like what's the word no i think i just do two there's no um this is the dotting tool i i think i cured yeah i've cured those and then i'm gonna add the dotting tool to add some yellow to the center of the daisies and i'm also gonna add some yellow dots just randomly on the reef as well but as as for the the amount of petals on the daisies there's no there's no rules you can do like five or six or seven however many you want there we go just a couple of a few clusters of yellow dots as well and then that's it's not quite finished yet we will come back to that later but for the second nail i've taken some of the bits from the blue decals and again some of the bits from the pink the cherry blossom decals and i'm just creating some this is gonna they're gonna be like little bouquets i don't know what you want to call them but like, i'm just i'm gonna do like three little clusters and i'm adding now the purple like little purple flowers i mean these are so easy i'm just sort of pressing the brush down to make a petal and it it worked really quite well yeah i didn't like how the blue met that pink up the top so i thought i'd cover it with a purple flower i only done two and then on this one i added some little green leaves just some little sort of nav navette shaped kind of teardrop not teardrop just little leaves because we didn't have any on this And then that will go in the lamp for 60 seconds. You can go as mad as you want with the green. But I didn't want to go over the top because I didn't have that much on the on the reef. And then again, I will now top coat this one. And pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then we can add our little, our little daisies. I think I add one daisy on each of the bouquets on this one. I love doing daisies i've never done i don't think i've ever really done have i done daisies before i don't know i might have done but this year i'm absolutely loving daisies and i was oddly i, I thought these turned out quite well initially i thought this was going to be this nail particularly i thought it was going to be a disaster <laughs> but i quite like it i quite like it So that will be our last one at the top. And again, I think some have got five petals and some have got six. You could go mad and do like, you could do loads, but because they're quite small. I thought I'd, you know, do a fewer, fewer petals. There we go. That's been cured. And now we're going to do our yellow dots. And then also, I, yeah, so dots in the middle and then just a few little dots. Like there's three up there. Two, two or three there. And then some more at the bottom. And it just adds a bit more colour. They're so cute. I quite like them. Pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take Dusty Pastel Green. The Perfect White and the Dusty Pastel Green are part of the um, Hello Spring bundle, which I made with Madame Glam. Um, you've, you can use the 50% off code NATMUG50 all throughout March. People were saying that it doesn't work on the bundle. I think it's because it's discounted. If you apply, if you add the individual colours to your checkout um, at full price and then add the 50% off code, it should work. But I don't think it will work on anything that's discounted. So bear that in mind if you want to use the 50% off code. Do you remember those little flowers I just showed you? Really popular last year. I'm going to use them again now. I'm taking some of my Crystal Fix and popping it on my palette i'm also using some rose gold caviar beads so i thought that'd be quite nice and i'm just using the precision tip from my crystal fix 
and I'm gonna go straight in with look these little flowers I got mine from Amazon I don't even know what they're called I can't remember but you can get them you can probably get these everywhere now I'm just putting a couple on the on the reef again it just adds a bit of dimension and a bit of texture I'm just running the caviar beads through that crystal fix and then I will place that in the center of the flower and then that will need 60 seconds in the lamp and then I'm, I'm going to do the same thing on each of these little bouquets I thought I'd add just one little I did put a bit too much crystal fix at the bottom by the way the crystal fix is available from crystal parade and you can save 10% using my code natmog10 I don't think I told you as well, the decals are from Nail Sugar and I've got a discount code NATMUG10 for Nail Sugar also. Again, look, I'm taking the little rose gold caviar beads and I'm going to pop them into the flowers, but you can't see because it's going a bit blurry. But the flowers that I bought, those resiny type flowers, they do come with gold and silver caviar beads as well. Right, these crystals are from Crystal Parade. I've got Preciosa Sapphire. I have got Preciosa. These are light rose. Yep, light rose. I was trying to pick colours that would complement the reef and the bouquets. I've also got these are old Swarovski crystals. They're called purple velvet. They were a, quite a dark purple. I thought it would match the gel paint, the purple gel paint that I used, but not quite. But it's the closest I had. And then I just grabbed some Preciosa clear crystals. So you can get. 10% off Crystal Parade using my code NATMUG10. Um, in the centre, I'm just going to add, I could have done with a little bit more gem glue on this one, but it, it's not going to be on a client, so it's not the end of the world. But do bear in mind, I could have done with a bit more there. I'm adding two of the bigger flowers, and then I'm just going to add some Crystal Fix to the flower and coming off the nail. So we're kind of doing a swoosh, but not really. We're just going across the nail. I feel like the swooshes are kind of like S-shaped, whereas this is just more like a sash. You know, the sash goes across your body. It's a sash of crystals going across the nail. <laughs> and I'm just literally gonna pick up the different colors and try and sprinkle them. A nice little sprinkling of crystals across the nail. I will add some caviar beads I don't know what happened to the footage of the caviar beads, but it disappeared. So I will, once I'm happy, I'll pop that in the lamp. And then this is what they looked like. I thought they were really cute. I hope you like them too. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. Please, if you feel like it, give this video a share because it will help my channel, which desperately needs it at the moment. But God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Also, websites and discount codes are below. So if you fancy treating yourself, go for it. Love you. Bye.